Shalom, all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Bashami, Oshai, Bashami, Kodash. And double honors to the apostles and to the elders of great millstone peace and salutations to the elect and your brother Makulat from a great millstone Jamaica camp. We tell us here to feed the potential light through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashami, Oshai. And, um, you know, it, it, this is hell. You know, I think that's what I want to call, call this moving in the spirit. Yeah, this is an in transit. I'm just gonna reason in the spirit, man. This is hell. If, if, if this if this is hell, then where is it? You know, that's the question that I'm asking. You know, if this isn't hell, where is hell? You know, cause you know, so lucky about that. You know, in the spirit, the brothers that are in the know, we know. That this is uncomfortable and we know that you know hell is not is not this place that you, you're gonna just go down deep under the hurt and, and you're gonna be tortured there forever and ever and you're burning and burning and burning which is which is wickedness you know which really doesn't make any sense all the struggles that we're facing now, all the, the suffering, the heartaches, the pressure that this life comes with, this is hell. The curses written in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter and verse 15 on down, that's hell, man. You know? This was what the Lord promised that would happen to us if we have disobeyed His commandments. And, and worship other gods and stuff, you know? This is it, this is the reality of it. And the scriptures said that, you know, our own, our own wickedness will correct us. And yeah, it stand corrected. Truly, stand corrected because, yeah, if we are not corrected, if we, if we, if we don't stand corrected, then trouble. <laughs> you know, trouble. Micah 2 verse 10 Oh shit, where was I? Micah 2 verse 10 It says Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest Because it is polluted It shall destroy you evil With a sore destruction And it, 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 it doesn't matter How much We go out there And prophesy And we walk Sincere to, to the best of our ability, sincerely according to the word. If the Lord didn't have a remnant, we would all be consumed by fire. Or some means and ways of, of, of death. The Lord said if he, if he didn't shine the days, man, we would all be we would all be as Sodom and Gomorrah because we would all we, we would all be put to death. Why? It's a very few of us that's, that's really out there trying to fight the good fight of faith, standing for righteousness. Even, even a lot of uh, men that you see come out and posing, asking where your fringe is at, you know, they, they ain't trying to, 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 you know, to get the fuck up out of here. They, they are about building Israelite community and shit because they are about this world, they are about this flesh, they are about showing themselves that they are they are not about giving Yahweh Bashem Yashai the glory asking begging for mercies to deliver us out of this pit that we are in so I'm saying to say that to say look if the Lord didn't show in those days really as a matter of fact let me let me just read it man so you can see it that is uh, Matthew chapter 24 Verse, I think it's 24 Somewhere around there Bear with me, I'm driving So, you know Oh, Matthew 24 verse Verse 22 It says, and except Those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shined. That small remnant, you know, that little cluster. 
We we would be, the, when you when you go in, into the media when you go. That's why that's the reason why we can't be distracted really with anything of this world because there's every event that the devil is pushing out there to counteract what we're saying, man, and we have to realize that. We are not ignorant of Satan's devices. One of that was the whole Will Smith, Chris Rock bullshit. That acting. And we see a whole lot of people jump on it to the point that men that's supposed to be standing stiffly for the names of Yahweh Bashami or Shai saying that Will Smith, um, Chris Rock should go and get venge vengeance by sleeping with Will Smith um, wife and, and, and stuff like that, promoting adultery. You see, that's the vibration that's going out there. And even among Israel, you have men pushing those things. So what do you think? What do you think if the Lord didn't, didn't um, shorten those days, man? This is hell. You know you're here. You're here. Um, you know, you're, you're not into the alphabet um, community and, and, and their, their deeds, you know? But, but in, every, in, in every movie, in the music, in the comedies, they have to have something of some sort promoting that. We would have been consumed by that. If the Lord doesn't shorten it this. That's the reality. That's, that's the beauty of about Yahweh Shai. Yeah? That's the beauty about our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know? And without Yahweh Shai, we are doomed, man. That's just the reality of the situation. We are doomed. I just wanted to say that, man. That, hey, without Yahweh Shai, we ain't getting nowhere, man. So, keep pushing the truth. Shalom, you know?